Victor. Hey folks, hi mind here. Uh, what I've got here is a uh, about a four-year-old Dag Arrowhead, uh, one of mine. Still passes hit check, uh, still passes when I take it to events, but it's the last one of uh, an original batch of a dozen, and I don't really trust it anymore, so I'm going to take it apart uh, and film it for science. Uh, not a modular head, so I'm just going to kind of go after it here. Uh, looks like an end of tape here. If I remember right, these were made off of the, uh, I think the Arendor tutorial. You know, the basic uh, wrap cap, wrap cap, open cell method. But, you know, four years ago, so who knows what we'll find. But like I said, it's still legal. It's just uh, last of the original batch, and I'm not real s confident in it, I guess is the word I'd use. And I'd rather reclaim the shaft and put a nice new axe and arrow modular head on it. Tapes, tapes coming off here. Somehow I've got two pieces coming off at once now. This is very exciting. LARP archaeology here. All right, there's one piece, and we're getting down to the head. Uh, this is yellow duck cloth. A little too heavy, really, for arrowheads. Doesn't stretch at all. Not really the optimal thing, but it's what I had, so it's what I used. Like I said, first batch of dag arrows I ever made. All right, head comes off. Cover comes off, rather. And I have a place for that. Circular file. So here is a... <laughs> Boy, is that ugly. But, you know... Four years on, it's holding up some kind of couch cushion foam I had. Four years on, holding up. Uh, looking at the base of it, yeah, it looks like a uh, wrap cap, wrap cap. Let me uh, peel off these uh, supporting pieces of duct tape here. Or not so much. Uh, there we go. Duct tape's pretty old. You know how that goes. Uh, looks like this is the top piece now. <laughs> For whatever that's worth. Apparently not much. Take out the trusty leather shears. I'll bust it loose. I don't want to use a knife anywhere because I don't want to nick the shaft because, like I said, I'm going to reuse this. So here we can see our duct tape core, and I wonder if... Yeah. Well, hell, that's good. I can reuse that. I'll have to take some tape off and get the penny out. I'm assuming there's a penny in there. Oh, yeah, I can see the edge of it, so I'm not a complete retard. Penny in there. Oh, good. Uh, shaft is good. Knock is good. Fletchings are all on there. This, uh, this is the arrow that won the lottery. Uh, four years on Dag Battlefields, going strong. Set that shaft aside. I'll come back to that when I have a head. Next time I break an arrow. And this thing. Let's check this out. Jeez. See what made this live. Looks like pipe insulation, blue foam. Nothing special. I wonder if I capped it with something special on the top. I can find the, uh, here we go, carefully dissect this arrowhead, and we'll see. Well, yeah, it looks like I used some Eva. I don't know that I'd go out of my way to buy Eva. I might have just had some hanging around. But, yeah, so there's our, uh, looks like a cap of Eva. And a cap of blue foam maybe. Can't tell yet. Let's get some more tape off here. Eh, I'm starting to lose interest in this project. That's when the knife comes out. I'm going to slice off this open cell. And I'm going to slice the whole thing in half. 
for science. So, inside of a DAG arrow after four years of use. Uh, a little bit of pipe insulation core over the duct tape. You can see the uh, little bit of indent there where the, uh, the penny was. Uh, whatever glue was here is gone. Uh, you can see there was a wrap of pipe insulation and then a cap of blue foam and then a wrap of blue foam and then a cap of feels like two pound EVA foam and then a uh, open cell top on it. Standard DAG arrowhead design, nothing special here, nothing exciting, just uh, good solid craftsmanship and follow the directions on the website. Four years on, you got a good arrowhead. <laughs> good luck.